Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm going to do raw loves in a particular order this week, okay? The way spirit wants it to come out. So there's that. Um, this is going to be the first couple weeks in December, okay? Oh, cards galore, cards galore. So, see what we get for my continues. My little continues. Remember the new moon's coming too, okay? So, energies are going to be uh, even more fluent. Let's see what's going on with my PC. Just to get what I'm looking for. Okay. So we got the Seven of Pens, the Three of Pens, the Queen of Wands. King of Wands. Right next to the Queen. She got her back apparent. I'm not reading these reversed. Okay. Wow. Um, I'm not going to take them. Clarify. Wow, they got a lot to say for you guys, my little Cancerians. So, right off the bat, okay, you got the seven of pence and the three of pence. What this is saying to me is that you just don't know if you want to invest time with something anymore, okay? Um, to me, this is a life partner, whether they're in your life or not, okay? Because you guys are side by side. But your back is turned, okay? It looks like the female right now is looking whether or not you know, to even invest time or, or somebody is because this is the six of pence. It's the seven of pence, but somebody's holding a pen and they're ready to leave because they don't want to invest time in anything anymore. And it looks like some type of contract, whether it's work or a lover or a marriage or a friendship, this is what it's come down to. These were reversed, okay? So what this is saying to me is that she's putting no action into it at all. You've got to be kidding me. You got the hangman, okay? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, okay. You got the hangman, the ten of swords, and the five of cups, okay? This is complete sorrow, the end of something. This is the end of feeling. This is the end of the mystery. This is the end of the sorrow. This is the end. If there was a third party, this is the end of the third party. It's dead. It's gone. But it looks like you're still trying to nurture something. But no, because that would be conflicting energy. You're not though. So I don't know if you're considering nurturing something. I mean, there's no effing way. Look at this. Oh, you got somebody all up in your energy. All up in your damn energy. Um, oh, man. I feel like this is not even attached to you. So this is 
I got the goosebumps. So this is how I'm going to do the readings this week. The top row is going to be you and the second row is going to be external energy. So now we got the three of hearts, two of cups. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ace of pence, two of wands, the death card, the queen of pence reversed. So what this is telling me right here is this external energy to you wants to put, you know, there was something that was is dead. There is no question. And I don't know if they broke your heart. Okay, when it came to this connection, but now they want to offer a new start. All right, they want to go on a journey with you. It looks like you guys are going to go on a journey. All right, there's two of you here. Um, this person, though, whether you're dealing with a Cappy or not, because the situations are, it's already been dead, it's already died off. They're worried that you're not going to put effort into this, which would make sense because your back is turned here. Okay, so. Show you what this looks like. I don't know if I'm going to want to do them all like this, but I will tell you that I'm just going to have to leave them that way now, the way they came out because of the situation. I got to love when spirit just tells you to go in a certain direction. So you guys can see that, right? Yeah. So. You're deciding whether or not you want to invest time into something. Like I said, you already have a pinnacle in your hands, okay? I don't think you want to invest time, but this is your thought. You're coming up as the Queen of Wands, being very determined, okay? Queen of Wands is already satisfied, all right? But you know, this, to me, this looks like a very karmic contract. You have the King of Wands that looks like a life partner, whether you're together or not, okay? That's not not speaking the truth, but if you ask me, this has to do with their feelings. They want a new stat. They have this beautiful connection with you. All right. I don't know if they broke your hat or they have a broken hat. To me, this is them. To me, they're laid out in bed. All right. This is karma. What goes around comes around type thing. Okay. Um, the external energy to you is, is miserable. But yet, again, they want this connection. They want the new stat. All right, they want to go on this journey with you, but they're so, they're so, this is afraid to me, I'm going to clarify, but they're afraid that you're not going to put any effort into this. So, and then to me, I, I don't know, let's see what this possibility is. To me, this is a relationship. Um, Tell me about. Three of Pence. Let's see what type of contract. Well, this is already karmic, so tell me about the Seven of Pence. Let's see what it is you're thinking about investing time into or not. Seven of Pence, Seven of Pence. Oh, son of a bitch. It's the Seven of Swords reversed. So this is coming back around. Whatever this is, is, is coming back around. This is the past. Okay, and two sevens, again, this has been happening all day. I, all these personal readings, I got to Google this for you guys. But this person that once was deceptive to you, whether it was lies, you know, theft, cheating, however it was, however it went down, okay, um, is coming back around. So I don't blame you if you want to, you know, it looks like, how can I not pick up my pet and go? Why would I want to invest time in that? Because, you know... That's, that's the scenario. So that's what you're, you're questioning yourself. Like, why would I go back to that? Um, <clears throat> it's 
spiritual meaning of 7 7? Okay, so what it's basically saying is that my Cancerians are definitely on the right track and to continue the righteous walk because you're owning it. Yeah, it's like you're the Empress, you know. So, but it also says 77 is someone who is aware that he or she is the barrier of a message, the divine world has life of great importance. So it's like, you know, what this situation is telling me too, not only are, you know, we got spirituality here because she's very spiritual, but the, what this is telling me too is that it's like, I lost my train of thought. What are you really going to invest your time in? Okay. Because you know, that your life is very important. You know where you're going, what you do for work or how your outlook. You definitely came first. There's no question. Regardless of this connection you felt because that's mutual. Okay. But this is also coming together. There's no way that this is not going to come together. This person wants to take a journey with you. Their thoughts are with you. But they're worried that you're not going to invest the time. That you won't nurture the situation anymore. Okay. So... It's like you had to have walked away and turned your back to this. This it doesn't. You thought this person was lying or self deceiving or self sabotaging your situation. So regardless, clarity, no clarity, you turned your back to that. And now that it's gonna come back around, you know what are you gonna do? Are you gonna invest time? I mean, that's really that's really the bottom line here. Regardless of anything else, will you invest time in in, in this again? Because right now you know, you're walking, you know, so it's like, what's that saying? <sighs> Walk the talk. I, well, I don't even know what that saying is. You guys probably know what I'm trying to say, but you came first in this situation. But I mean, I don't, this is just it. Like for the next two weeks, this is your scenario that this person's going to come around and offer time and tell you how they feel and open up. Okay. Right now they're in sorrow, straight up sorrow. The universe hung them up. All right. I don't know if they like to be catered to, you know, they just feel dead inside. They're just dead. Lots of guilt. Okay. And paranoia that you won't, that you won't accept them. So, I mean, this is on you. This is what your next two weeks look like for sure. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with a cappy, but, oh, it's just a death card, but tell me about death. They're just, a, to me, they're just afraid you're not going to put the effort in and that's it. But they want, they want this journey, okay? I mean, are they sitting in sorrow or what? All right, the four of cups, see? They're ready to, here's the deal with the four of cups. It's, they at one point already poured you out of their life. They didn't want you. Okay, so now they're looking at the other cup saying, damn. You know, what did I do? It's time for me to pour my emotions out now. And they don't really want to. Okay? But they're going to have to. But they're just worried. They're worried that you're, you're not going to open up after they do that. They're, they're worried about being rejected after speaking their truth. You know? They're worried of rejection. The worried, you know, opportunity is not going to be taken. I don't know what you're going to do, but this is the external energy, okay? This is straight up yours, and this is what you battle in the next two weeks is this. It's a decision. I mean, I don't even see a decision card for you, but I mean, as clear as day, you got to figure out whether or not you're going to invest more time into this situation. So that means that it's already coming or it's going to come in. The message already came in or it's coming because that's your decision. And it's definitely the past, okay? Got the Six of Cups and I just said that. It's most definitely your past. So I'm going to pull you one of my fun cards. And you got to remember with these cards, you know, whether you're the Cancerian or you're the Cross Watcher, that um, these are additional messages that maybe I didn't notice or whatever the case may be, okay? They're just additional messages. They could have nothing to do with this spread. It's just 
additional messages. How many times did I have to say that? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. All right, you got rebel. This is because fuck it. All right, so somebody in this situation, it's more like sometimes you got to be that rebel, okay? Shit going down with your job, reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit, okay? So whether it's the cross watcher or it's you guys, because this could be do you want to invest time at work anymore? You might have a contract with work and something shady went on with work, okay? And do I leave? Do I not leave? All right. Um, tell me about these two sevens. Tell me about these two sevens. I feel like it's love related for damn sure though. So I don't know if it's the external energy. Like I said, could be for anyone. Huh. It says it looks like a shit show. That is a shit show. Okay. You're a hot mess. Clean yourself up. So I don't know, you know, these are the sevens. It's a messy situation for damn sure. There is no question you are definitely dealing with a messy situation. Okay. So if you're having job issues, they're saying, you know, F it. But that's on you. I know it's not easy just to F it and, and, and be out without another job. So wh wh however that relates to you guys. Okay. The bottom line this week. Your energy, external energy. What are you going to do when this decision comes back around? And I don't even see a messenger, so that means it's it's already here. This, this is the beginning of the week, okay? So it's coming in. But I will tell you, I mean, this person's a mess right now. But again, they, they got that love. They got all that. To me, they're accepting a transformation, but they're, they sure are worried that you're going to turn them down. They're paranoid to, to open up, tell you how they feel. They don't want to be rejected. Okay. But you continue doing what it is you do. Make the best decisions for you. You're very psychic. Use your, intu use your intuition with this one, okay? I love you guys. Bye.